But yeah, we're going to keep it quite simple in this part of the structure. Carry on through here. Here's a little walkway. Here you see some of the nature encroaching on our building. That little front porch, sadly, will probably have to be totally removed and rebuilt. Um, it's not much salvageable about it right now, I don't think. And this is our other dining room in, again, the what we're calling the cottage proper. Forgive the mess, but we're doing... We're trying to strip her down so we can build it back up. So these are our hearths, as you saw in the other room. The intention is to get these rebuilt and refurbished and stuff. One of them is, is open and things. With modern, uh, with modern rules and requirements, we have to do a lot of work on the chimneys and things like that. But uh, it's all part of the plan. And again, you'll see there's the ceiling, which is about six inches above my head. About six sevens or so, something like that. Just under seven feet. Again, give you a feel for what we're dealing with. Again, same thing in here. Not much changing, really. Just, uh, you know, obviously we'll have to clean it up and do the things we need to do to make it uh, workable from a commercial standpoint. But we really want to keep the cottage as original as we can. Here we see uh, one of the doorways. Now this doorway is approximately five foot seven, so I almost have to lie down to go through this one, but we'll see what we can do about that. This is, here's some of the you see some of the newspaper that's here on the wall. This one in particular here is uh, from Rio de Janeiro. So that's interesting. Interesting wallpaper. Not many people would the Rio Tribune on their wall, but such as it is here in Mallard Cottage. Can't quite see the date on that one, but there's some more some more cool old newspaper. We're gonna try and keep some of that some of the character or some of that anyhow, but uh, the builders and things will advise us as what we can do there. Again, a lot of work, but <clears throat> you know it's for a building that it's as old as it is, we're pretty we're pretty happy with the shape that it's in. So this will be basically reception and entrance. Again, the two dining rooms that we just walked through. This will be, you know, where you'll come in. You know, we'll grab your, we'll get your coat here. This will probably be a spot where you can get a coffee and things in the summertime. You just want to pop by, grab a coffee, and carry on on the East Coast Trail or hike up Signal Hill. This is, uh, you see, the, the newer building that's out through the back there. We're hoping that uh, basically this window that I'm showing you now is going to be the entrance into what will be the new building that will be attached to Mallard Cottage, assuming all our permissions are are uh, are approved and and our architects can can come up with the plan. Um, so basically, you'll just walk right into what is what will be basically the main dining room, large-ish, open concept. Uh, dining, open kitchen, uh, lots of wood, lots of natural product, clay, wine goblets, and local Newfoundland product in everything that we do. It's our intention. Uh, we're going to build a new building, but it's going to be as old. It's going, hopefully going to look as old as uh, as the original cottage does. So again, this is all. Everything you see here, sadly, is going to be destroyed. Uh, really, there's not much to save here. Uh, the building itself was not tremendously well constructed and certainly not from our perspective it's not of not of much use here you see dad making uh, making kindling for me from some of the the old wood that's kicking around but this is all this is all going and then out our back out through the back here is where I had you earlier where the deck will where the deck will be give you some idea for the surrounds there so yeah, the only thing really is, uh, that's of any import in this room is this window up top here, which has some sentimental value for the previous owner. And, and as soon as we decide that uh, the time has come for us to take this building down, that will be taken out gingerly and preserved, and she'll get that back as a little token from us. But again... Uh, lots to do. Very excited. I'm going to bring you guys upstairs and show you the upstairs in the cottage. So we're back in the original cottage now. This is the back, this is the stairway up to the cottage, up to the cottage upstairs. Um, 
quite low ceilings up here, a little cozy, but this is probably going to be where our office is. Uh, those types of things, you see all the old, what was the fireplace. Uh, been doing some tearing up in here as well, so these ceilings are, my head just about touches them in here. So, just about six, two or three, I'd say, is the ceiling in here. Again, lots of the original boards on the wall, the little windows, the real classic for the Irish, this Irish vernacular style. Again, this would have been, bed, you know, back in the day, it would have been the bedrooms. It's going to become our offices. Just too difficult to get uh, proper permissions and things to allow public up here. It's just to, given the, this, this, the state of the building and the, the way the rules are now with the egress and people being able to get in and out, um, it won't be conducive to any kind of public interaction up here. But certainly for light storage and our offices and things like that, it would be fine. And, you know, probably be... One of the coolest offices in St. John's, <laughs> at least as far as I'm concerned, it will be. But anyhow, that's them. So yeah, that's cool. Looking forward to getting at these now. We need to get into the ceilings and, and stuff and see what we got. Because the roof of the building is probably completely deteriorated to the point where we'll have to, uh, to resheet the whole roof and stuff. We intend to... Take you back outside for that. We intend to, um, we intend to, of course, uh, bring back the old wooden, the wooden shakes on the on the roof, which would have likely been what it was originally. But I don't think we got anything to nail them to up there now. The tar paper is probably all that's really keeping the water out of that building at all. But. Um, Here's the Inn of Old across the street there, Linda's lovely little pub. And then it's heading into St. John's out 10 minutes. 10 minutes, but $10 cab ride from here to George Street. So there you see our ceiling, the whole roof will be, it's probably gonna have to be reconstructed. The chimney is gonna be reconstructed. Um, yeah, lots to do. There's the, the little porch out front that will be rebuilt. And again, the whole front, given the heritage and nature of the property, the whole front will, what can be or has to be replaced will be replaced. What doesn't have to be replaced will be refurbished, embellished, repainted, all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, it's, uh, I don't want to say daunting because it's not daunting, but it's, uh, it's very exciting. But anyway, we look forward to uh, keeping you guys in the loop and and when we get a bit further down the road, we'll give you another vid. Take care.